Hello, uh, in this tutorial we are going to go through uh, the procedure of uh, running URL uh, through MATLAB using the source code. So, as we mentioned uh, in the installation uh, video tutorial, essentially uh, if you go to the URL repository uh, on GitHub, so you can uh, download the URL installer exe executable file over here and just using this executable file you can install Earl on your uh, PC and run it as a normal uh, application. Uh, the other alternative if you are a developer if you want to uh, actually modify the code in Earl or if you want to add uh, an add-on to uh, Earl functionalities so you will need to actually uh, download the source code and run this uh, through uh, MATLAB and do the debugging in MATLAB. Uh, we have discussed in the developer's uh, video tutorial how you can download the source code uh, using uh, the GitHub uh, uh, desktop app, the one over here, and how to essentially fork the uh, entire repository to your PC and edit the files over there. Uh, here I'm going to show like some uh, some other uh, different way in doing this. So what you need to do is to go to the repository over here and essentially you need to download the source SRC folder over here. Uh, you can do this directly by clicking on this button here for clone or download and download the entire repository as a zip folder if you don't want to deal with uh, github and uh, the github desktop app and you want to do this uh, manually uh, on your pc so you just need to download the file and save it to your pc so now it's being downloaded once it's downloaded, you just need to extract the unzipped, uh, the zipped folder. So once you do that, uh, this is the folder it's called by default Earl Master, and inside again you see the entire uh, files available uh, in the GitHub repository. Uh, you care about this SRC folder. If you go inside, so again as we mentioned uh, in earlier video, over here you have all the GUI MATLAB uh, files and the MATLAB uh, functions uh, files, everything over here. Uh, you just need, uh, before you go to MATLAB and open these files over there, you just need to extract, there is this folder called graphics, you just go inside so here it has all the graphics files necessary to run the GUI files. So if you select all these files and move them to the main SRC folder, like this. Then all you need to do now is to open MATLAB. Now from MATLAB, once MATLAB is open, you just need to uh, essentially go into this directory, the SRC directory, so I will just copy it from here, paste it over there. So now we're in the source file directory, directory and then we can see here all the files. Uh, I'll just sort them by type just to make it easier to browse. So now in MATLAB you have, right now you're in the source uh, folder and you have all the files and you can essentially run Earl directly uh, from this folder. So the main or the root uh, file that you need to open is essentially if you scroll downward. So it's this file that's called Earl underscore app dot ml app so this is a graphical user interface uh, file that you can open it using the matlab app designer uh, so just if you uh, just in case that you don't have 
uh, MATLAB app designer installed within your um, MATLAB uh, application, you just need to write app designer in your command window. And if it's not uh, installed, then you will get uh, a link uh, that you can download it uh, online. Or you can, of course, search it on uh, Google and then it will get you to the uh, MATLAB uh, web page where you can download the app designer. So here I already have uh, the MATLAB uh, app application designer already installed. So all I need to do is to double click on this file to open it. So again, this is the root uh, graphical user interface. So this is the one uh, where you uh, start all your uh, project definition uh, features and functionalities. Everything is code in here. So right now, so this is the main, the main uh, interface. So all you need to do now is to click run. So right now we have opened Earl as we see over here, using the uh, MATLAB application designer. And of course, you can go ahead and start working on your project and debug any of the uh, files or any of the uh, functions within MATLAB uh, in order to develop uh, and collaborate uh, further uh, on the application. Uh, so if you are familiar with the application designer, essentially uh, it's just uh, uh, an app to uh, design your user interface using some tools of adding buttons, adding checkboxes, text field, uh, numeric fields, and so on. So if you're familiar with this, you will find it uh, easy to use, of course. Uh, if you are not familiar with this, uh, there are several tutorials online and using in MATLAB Central as well uh, that you can uh, get introduced to using the app designer. So you can modify things here. Uh, right now we are in the design view and if you click on the code view, then you can see uh, the background of this interface and it's what happens when you click on each button and so on. So using this, now you can run Mat uh, Earl directly using MATLAB on your PC. You can modify uh, the different uh, functions uh, and the different uh, codes that run and uh, do the analysis, the loss analysis and uh, visualize the loss analysis results. So you can do everything here. Uh, and this, of course, can be done uh, if you checked the developer uh, uh, video that I made earlier. So you can insult the code tree and the organization of the code by clicking on this button here, developers. So this one, once you click here, you will get the hierarchy uh, of the code. So you can see here the root, which is error underscore app dot ml app, which is the one that we currently have open. And underneath you can see all the dependencies of the different modules and the associated uh, functions. So you can of course use this to modify specific functions or to review uh, the code. So thank you for your attention and please feel free to email me if you have uh, any problems uh, running the code in MATLAB uh, or if you have any other uh, inquiries. Thank you.